Very good morning to all of you children. Hope you're all fine and safe at home. Today, let's learn about the Great Indian Desert. Chapter number 14, The Great Indian Desert. As you know, a desert is a flat area covered with sand. It has little vegetation. It receives little or no rainfall. Now, what is a desert? A desert is a flat area covered with sand. Desert has very little vegetation. Why? It receives little or no rainfall. Am I clear? It has little vegetation because it receives little or no rainfall. Now, location of Rajasthan. Rajasthan lies to the southwest of northern plains. Let us mark this children first. Look at the map over here. Yes, here. I'm just marking the northern plains over here. Right, children. Look at this. Northern plains, right? Towards the north of the northern plains, what do we have? We have Himalayas here, correct? Towards the south, it is the southern plateau, right? Now, Rajasthan lies to the southwest of northern plains here. Southwest of northern plains. Let us mark Rajasthan here. Yes, a huge area of Rajasthan is a desert. Look at this, children. This portion is a desert, right? The Aravali Hills divide Rajasthan into two parts. Look at this here, children. Look at the map. Here you have Aravali Hills. Aravali Hills divide Rajasthan into two parts. The eastern part is quite fertile. This is the eastern part. Right? While the western part is rocky and sandy. This is the western part. And western part is rocky and sandy. Right? The eastern part is quite fertile because river Chambal flows in the eastern part. This way. River Chambal flows in the eastern part. That is why eastern part is quite fertile. The soil here is very rich in nutrients. Got it? The western part of Rajasthan is known as the Indian Desert or the Thar Desert. The Thar Desert was formed due to low rainfall and heavy soil Erosion, removal of topsoil is known as soil erosion. The Thar Desert spreads from the Aravali Hills. It spreads from the Aravali Hills to the border of Pakistan in the west. This way, from the Aravali Hills to the border of Pakistan in the west. Got it, children? And from Ranofkach in the southwest, 
runoff cuts in the southwest to the border of Haryana in the north, to the border of Haryana in the north, as well as Punjab over here, children. Yeah. In the west, it forms a part of the Sindh Desert in Pakistan. Yes, you have the Sindh Desert over here. Sindh Desert lies in Pakistan, children. Now let's learn about the climate. The desert region remains hot and dry throughout the year. In summers, the nights are cool and days are hot. Right? The desert is covered by sandy soil. Correct? Sand gets heated up quickly during the day. And so, days are hot in a desert. You know what happens at night? At night, sand loses all its heat rapidly and makes the atmosphere cool. Right? In winters, the days are warm and the nights are very cold. There is very little rainfall in this region because the Aravali hills lie in the direction of rain-bearing winds. And are not able to stop the winds to cause rain. Look at the map over here, children. Okay. What are rain-bearing winds? The wind that brings rain are called rain-bearing winds. These winds blow over ocean. These winds blow over from the oceans towards the land, over the oceans and seas towards the land. This way it blows children. These are actually seasonal winds. Only during a particular season, these winds blow. Am I clear? These winds blow from southwest direction this way. Look at this. I'm just drawing it here. From southwest direction. Here now you see Aravali Hills. Here. Correct? Here you see Aravali Hills. These winds now move parallel. These winds move parallel this way to these ranges. Got it? Winds just pass away. Pass away this way. So, there is little rainfall. The Aravali Hills are not able to stop the winds to cause rain. It's just passed through this way. Look at this, children. The winds pass away. Got it? Aravali Hills are not able to stop the winds. Got it? In the deserts, wind shifts sand from one place to another to form small mounds called sand dunes. Sometimes strong winds blow away the sand with great speed. They are called sand storms. Got it? Now mounds. A hill you can say or a large heap of sand. Now what do you mean by sand dunes? Small hills of sand are called sand dunes. The strong winds keep shifting the sand particles from one place to 
another. Look at the GIF over here, children. So the sand dunes do not stay at one place. They always keep moving. The winds cause great damage to the soil. They blow away the top soil. This type of damage to the soil is called soil erosion. Now removal of top soil is called soil erosion. Am I clear? Due to soil erosion, large area of desert is dry and barren. The land has very poor soil and plants cannot grow in it. Trees do not grow in the desert because the climate is very hot and dry and it rains little. Sometimes it does not rain for many years. It has scattered bushes and thorny shrubs at some places. Now meaning of shrub, a large plant smaller than a tree and having several stems. At some places, palm, baboon, cactus and thorny kikar are also found. These plants require little water. That is why you find these plants in a desert. The farmers grow wheat, gram, jowar, and bajra on their fields. The government has set up our country's largest wheat farm at Suratgarh. Clear children? Yes. 